I went to Malolos, Bulacan, 45 kilometers north of where I live in Metro Manila, Philippines on Black Saturday 2022. For those of you who don't know, that's the day before Easter Sunday. We get four days of holiday on Holy Week starting Holy Thursday. We headed to Malolos to the second historically significant church of the city, the Malolos Cathedral. It's also known as the Biner Basilica and Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception of Malolos. It was completed in 1817. The first of the two historically significant church sites is the Barasoa Inn church a few streets away, and this is the cathedral's Pork the Sancta. Reading from Wikipedia now, a holy door, Latin, Porta Sancta, is traditionally an entrance portal located within the papal major basilicas in Rome. The doors are normally sealed by mortar and cement from the inside so that they cannot be opened. They are ceremoniously opened during jubilee years designated by the Pope for pilgrims who enter through those doors who may piously gain the plenary indulgences attached with the jubilee year celebrations. In October 2015, Pope Francis broke with tradition in having each Roman Catholic diocese throughout the world designate one or more local holy doors during the extraordinary Jubilee Year of Mercy so that Catholics could gain the plenary indulgences granted during the Jubilee Year without having to travel to Rome. The reason this cathedral is a historically significant site is because Emilio Aguinaldo held office in its convent after he moved his government to Malolas during the interim after he seceded from Spain and declared independence and before the Americans took over. You could see the signs outside in three languages explaining how the cathedral convent served as his presidential palace during the First Philippine Republic from 1898 to 1899. The stained glass windows are great. It has a cool dome up top. There's a Virgin Mary grotto out back. Again, I went here on a black Saturday, the day before Easter Sunday. Back outside is the Kalayaan tree, freedom tree. Lore has it that Emilio Aguinaldo, president of the First Philippine Republic, and his people held discussions under that tree. There's even a statue of a dog among the other human figures. Hope you enjoyed watching this short vlog. Which part did you find most interesting? Please comment below. Please thumb up this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to be updated when I upload again. See you next video!